Hey everybody, so today I just wanted to make a early morning video and I just wanted to quickly talk about um, US non-farm payrolls. So um, what happened was that we actually got um, 390,000 when we were forecasting 325,000. So this is a pretty big beat. So what exactly does this mean? Well, what this means, um, as we can see right here, non-farm payrolls measure the change in the number of people employed during pr the previous month, excluding the farming industry. So job creation is the foremost indicator of consumer spending, which accounts for the majority of economic activity. A higher than expected reading should be taken as positive slash bullish for the USD, while a lower than expected reading should be taken as negative slash bearish for the USD. So we got a higher than expected so what did this do to the dollar? Well, let's just go and see. As we can see, the dollar is up pretty big today. And um, there's something I wanna show you guys. So if I go on the weekly time frame right here, one week, we can see that we actually filled a gap right here, this massive gap. We filled this gap and we rallied off it. So um, I do think we need to get a lot more cautious here. What we do wanna see is we wanna see the dollar break below this gap right here, then things could look a little bit more bullish for equities. So um, let's go ahead and look at commodities futures. So what we can see right away is uh, obviously metals are fading. So we see uh, gold fading, copper, um, silver just faded as we can see real time, um, and all these other metals fading. But um, what we can see right here is uh, crude, natural gas, heating oil, all of that, that's all going up. So um, the last few days, I haven't really made videos because I haven't really seen anything big go in the market. Um, we've really just been going sideways, chopping sideways, and um, I could go over some technicals real quick. So uh, let's do that real quick. So if we are looking at S&P 500, we just look right here. So this was just basically going sideways. Now, I don't know, is this a like double top? So um, oftentimes with double tops, the second time around, you tend to see us go a little bit higher just because of a little bit of hopium going on that, oh, maybe next time we might go a little bit higher and we might break out. So sometimes you see these, but you know, are we gonna continue this? Because right now in the pre-market, we're at 413. So we're all the way down, uh, let's see. 413, we're right about here in the pre-market. So um, let me go ahead and throw on um, the extended hours. So when I throw on the extended hours, um, what could happen is first thing in the morning, you know, we could rally and we could fill this gap. That's entirely possible. And you know, this market doesn't always make sense. So we could just rally higher, you know? We could do something crazy and maybe Amazon carries us again and you know we rally and we make new highs today and this whole non-farm payroll thing just gets ignored. Who knows? But you know, uh, just the way that we're selling off in the pre-market, I feel like today it could be very likely that today could be a down day. So um, we'll see. I mean, honestly, I never really know, but I always lean a little bit more towards the bearish side. For those of you who know me a little bit better, uh, you know that I'm probably more bearish, just given all the uh, news and whatnot. So I generally lead a little bit more on the bearish side, and I think this is probably what a lot of the bears needed to uh, really uh, start shorting and um, going crazy on those puts. And maybe the um, bulls get a little bit scared off just because they see the dollar rallying again. So um, I guess where can we fall in the short term? Well. Um, if you did watch my previous video, I did talk about the risk ranges. Uh, the lower risk range is right around here at 405. But we do have um, this area where we had, uh, we do have this area where we um, double bottomed right here. And that's right around um, 407, 407-ish. So uh, we'll see if we do that again. And um, that'll be it for today, for today's uh, morning video. But later today, I will be putting out a market overview just on some of the events that happened this week. And then I want to talk about next week as well. So um, definitely look forward to that. And I hope you guys have a good trading day.